Hello planner friends, today we are going to talk about my planners and my thoughts on January <laughs> in my planners. We are going to flip through these planners, uh, look at my spreads and then talk about how I use these and if I'm gonna continue in this setting or if I'm gonna do something else. So there is quite a lot here, so <laughs> I think we should just jump right in um, and don't waste more time. So this is my A5 uh, common planner. This is my catch-all planner and this is an apricot Moterm cover. Um, I'm gonna get it out because I think it's a bit easier to flip. So I made a video on um, setting this up last year so uh, I don't think I showed this but I <laughs> printed all of my goals and cut them out. Yes I am crazy. So um, this is my habit tracker um, or quarterly page I guess. I did not uh, put down my goals. I did set goals <laughs> that I wanted to put on here and, and I forgot and I'm gonna fill it out once I do um, I mean here once I do uh, February, but I did fill out my habit tracker for January. So I just need to do a little bit of like a um, Like a stats kind of thing like counting all the habits and adding it up uh, And I'm gonna continue doing this in February as well and then this was January's monthly and I thought I'm gonna use this more but I did not but this was enough for me and I am not like a big monthly calendar person I feel like so um, I do use this but I don't use it like every day and I'm also like I can't be bothered to like make it very pretty so <laughs> it's kind of minimalistic in a way but it's functional so that's that. Now let's go to the weeklies. So as I mentioned, this is a my catch-up planner. So it catches all. That's why it's called a catch-up planner, if you didn't know. Um, meaning it catches all of my all areas of my life. So I kind of try to put everything in here. Obviously, if I would actually put every single thing in here, it would not fit on this page. So I usually don't put like everything everything <laughs> but i don't like um make a difference between um putting stuff down here that is like social media or not it doesn't matter um even if i have another planner i if i want to have something in this planner um i'm gonna put it in because it's my catch-all so this is the way i am i have been using the weekly uh it's kind of the same setup that I've been using um, last year, kind of, <laughs> putting my schedule in and then tasks all around it and then some deco and everything, um, which is, I guess, fine. And on um, this one, I backfilled, I know, because <laughs> um, I started this and then I didn't finish it, so I backfilled. That's why it's so empty. And then we have the first week where I did not put anything on, but that's fine. I'm, I'm trying to learn this year to just, you know, flip the page and don't care <laughs> about the empty one. And then this was another week. Um, kind of busy with a lot of deco, but I, I like it, so. <laughs> and then this is this week, and I am doing something different, as you can tell. This layout was inspired, heavily inspired by Kino Prints on Instagram. I thought I wanted to do something different, so I uh, looked on Instagram and saw what I liked and chose something that I liked, and now I'm trying it for the first time, so um, we're gonna see. It's Friday, so <laughs> we will see how, did, how this worked out and if I'm gonna continue. Okay, those were the weeklies. Now let's go to the dailies. So I always start with a vision board and 
I did not always start with this vellum by Sterling Ink, but that's what I'm gonna do this year. So um, I started with these two to like mark the beginning of January. And then I have my dailies and I started out with um, a day per page. And if you know me or my planners from last year, I use the Hobonichi Cousin. And I've been talking a lot about how it stressed me out a lot because it was one day per page um, dated. So now you might be wondering why are you still doing one day a page if it was stressing you out that much? <laughs> um, the dating was stressing me out a lot. And now I can do a page when I want. As you can see, I did not do a daily for the 1st of January because Truth to be told, I was hangover, I had a headache, and I was tired, so I <laughs> did not plan. Um, so I can just like use a page if I need to, which is a lot less stressful. And if I feel like I don't need a whole page, I'm gonna put to-dos on my weeklies, or I'm gonna uh, put to-dos in my other planners for like specific topics. So. I don't always need a, a whole page and I there are there are days where I know I'm gonna not gonna have the time to fill it out and I don't want to do it so I then just skip the day. So this is the structure that I'm going with for now. So as you can see, 3rd of January and then 6th because I did not need pages between. And I was asked in, in an Instagram comment, so I'm gonna uh, answer the question as to how I do these uh, spreads and if I pre-decorate my spreads. Um, as you can see, I, I do not pre-decorate anything. <laughs> uh, when I sit down and I feel like I want a spread, um, I will decorate like two pages because I like them to match but I don't write the date until I want to use it. So if I did, when I did this spread, I made the line, I put down the stickers, I put down the today's sticker, and then I left this part blank. Um, usually when I decorate, I do it because I want to spread. So I did usually, like I did use this uh, spread on the 10th. <laughs> and then I did want to use it on the 11th, but it could have been that I wanted to use one on the 10th, so I did the two pages, and then on Thursday I did not want to use it, so it could have been Friday. So that's that's how I that's how I do it. And then I only have two empty pages, but I'm gonna fill I'm gonna fill this out. That's not a problem. I'm using empty pa uh, spaces for whatever, as you're gonna see in a second. Two more dailies, and then two more, and then as you can see here, this was for the 28th of January, but I filled this out, like not the to-do list, but this space on the 30th, because I did not have a spread for the 30th, and I felt like journaling. So I just put down a sticker to mark that this was from the 30th, and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with these two. Or maybe even use these for notes or whatever. But yeah, more dailies. And then we have January 31st. And I really need to fill this out. And also the review. I just did not have the time yet. And I already put down the new Sterling Ink calendar. And I'm going to put the February vision board over here. So that's that. That is all that I have in here. And I actually quite enjoy uh, this planner and it stresses me out a lot less than my Hobonichi cousin last year. So <laughs> I'm gonna continue doing this. I think I used like 15, I had like a daily page for like 15 days out of the month. So like every other day kind of. So that's, that's the amount I need. Okay, now let's move on to my B6 planners. So I have this um common planner in b6 it's in forest so it's green but i think it's hard to see and this is one of my two university planners 
I really need to fill this up. <laughs> I mean, the habit trackers are always my downfall, I feel like, but I just, I love to have them. I just always forget because I have so many all over the place. Um, this was January, as you can see, not glamorous at all. And I don't really care that much to make this planner very like glamorous. Um, the weeklies are the only where I kind of like to decorate. But this is like, I have like pencil stuff in here. Uh, I, yeah, I did not even fill out the goals and I don't really care that much, to be honest. It's fine. This is more like a utilitarian kind of planner for me. Except for, as you can tell, for the weeklies. <laughs> because I last year I became obsessed with the B6 weekly. I feel like it's like such a great size to decorate. And I love to play around with it and I love, I love to use my stickers from the Grimoire Club on Patreon in here. So I have been doing that, but I really need to fill up my trackers. Um, and then we have the same empty week in here. And I need to finish the weekend. The weekend is always um, like the part of the week where I <laughs> fall of the weekly spread kind of i don't know the weekend is just so like unpredictable and there are like not 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 like huge chunks of time that i can block out and i also like don't really do that there's usually a lot of small things that i do and it's just tedious to put it down in this fashion so usually this is the part where i <laughs> stop and this is this week and it's Friday and um, it's probably going to be a week where I don't use it. But that's fine because I have my A5 um, and that is enough. Sometimes it's not. I do this mostly for deco and fun. But sometimes if it's a very stressful university week, like exam prep season or whatever, I do like to have like this little planner with me in the library or whatever. And I'm not bringing my A5. So sometimes I do need this spread. Um, this week I did not because I was at home. So, And then the notes pages in the back are used for collections. And I made this little like index that I did not start yet but because I don't have many pages yet. But I'm going to put down the page numbers for these pages. And I did uh, mark out some pages for different collections. And... I have been so busy in January, I could not, like, create the spread. <laughs> but I'm gonna sit down and, and do these. Um, and then there are, like, some notes pages, like, topics for my first test in a subject. And then some notes for my thesis. And this is how I'm gonna use this. It's not gonna be for dailies, it is for notes only. And then we have my other B6, which is my paper test designs e6 and i adore the chunk on this planner and this is the first time i'm using this layout so it's still like i'm still adjusting so <laughs> don't judge me um so this was january's calendar and i feel like this the two to two monthlies for uni are too much so it's kind of empty but then we have the same kind of thing with the calendar and the vision board. And I did not yet figure out how to use this planner in the best way. So the plan was to have a dashboard on this side, have um, the specific tasks here, events on here, priorities, and then use these pages for um, dailies. Um, you're gonna see, I kind of, I made it a little bit better than what you see now, but I just feel like there are too many pages in between weeks for me. I don't need these many for dailies. So, I mean, I think that's fine. I am not really, like usually I'm very bothered by empty pages and I try to fill up every single like empty space in every spread. And if it's not filled up, then I feel bad. <laughs> but as you can see, I, I did not fill it up and to be honest, I think I'm realizing that my time is much more worth than 
filling up these pages. And I still think this spread looks nice. Um, even though I did not write anything on the weekend, but you know, I used it when I had to and I did not use it when I didn't need to. So, and you can see, I don't need, I, two pages are kind of enough for me, for the dailies. So there are a lot of empties in between. This week was like, this week was nothing. <laughs> it's empty. And then this week uh, was a bit better, but it's still like very empty. So that's, that's just what it is. Um, and then I did jot down some notes, but yeah. And then this is February, a lot of pencil um, because it's exam season. So I had to put down my exam prep plan and yeah. Uh, not a lot going on um, so I just realized I don't really need a lot of dailies for uni uh, because um, I have a lot to do but I, I don't like write down like every single half step I need for every single task so it's usually just two or three things I write down per day as to do and those take like a long time <laughs> so I could like probably make it even more detailed so that I have more to do's and that takes up more space but I just feel like that takes away so much time that I like use for writing that I could be doing my uni work so I just use it however I need it and it's not pretty it's not like very aesthetic but it works for when I need it so that's how I use it Okay, we have the other stack of planners and we're gonna start with this one. This is a dot cross planner by a Scribbles That Matter and I use this as a help planner. And this is kind of like a bullet journal style um, thing. So there are some trackers. I track my steps on here and then there is another one well it's not a tracker it's an overview but i use this as a tracker which is like a mood tracker and then yeah i mean there are spreads that you're not even never gonna fill up and i am also already behind on my workout tracker but it's fine because i have the data then we have my fitness journey measurements 75 soft and hard i wanted to put down my monthly goals here but i did not do it <laughs> this is the monthly which i use for my headaches so I write down on which day I had a headache and I also write down the workouts that I want to do and then this is how I use the weekly I have movement meals I changed this up later in the month but this was the first one and then we have habits goals review gratitude and weight I decorated this one but I did not use it which is fine and then I changed it up to movement and to do, and I think that worked a little bit better. Um, I am checking my meals in an app, and it just feels like bothersome to put down the same things, but with less information on here. It does not really have a purpose. We still have the habits, the goals, review, and gratitude, and rate. So this is the week we are on, and it's Friday, so I'm a bit behind on it, but I'm going to fill it out. And it's just, it's just good to look back on. It's just like a accountability kind of thing. So it is not really about being up to date on this like every single day, day because I track my movement in an app as well. I track my habits. So it's more like a check-in kind of thing. So um, yeah, this is how I use it. And yeah, that's, that's that. And then we have my five-year journal. This is by Sterling Inc. as well. It's in Forest as well, V6. And this is going to be very boring for you. But it's literally just pen and paper. And I don't know if I'm ever going to do anything else in here. Um, and I'm also never going to post this. Um, if you can read anything while I'm flipping, that's fine. It's not like ultra secret. But because I know I'm going to post this um, so that people can like zoom in and read every single word, 
um, I am more like vulnerable in here, in here, and I put down more of my like inner things. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm ever gonna put down any stickers in here or if I'm gonna change it up year to year. But that's just it's to be honest. Adding one more thing that I have to fill out every day is stressful. So I decided to make it the less stressful thing that it can be which is just pen and paper so that's what i'm doing but i'm enjoying it and i hope that it's gonna be fun to look back on next year and then we have my social media planner now this is a sweet freckle designs undated weekly and um i use this when i need it there are weeks where i have no time to really do a lot of social media because i have a lot to do with my thesis and my uh, subjects and any and my work this month so or this time see i didn't, did not even do february yet but i'm gonna do it <laughs> um so i use it when i feel like that i have a week where i am gonna have the time to work more on social media or where I feel like I really need to take the time to do some things for my shop or whatever. So uh, this is how I use it. Instagram, YouTube and shop goals to do habits and like stats. And I have been doing that <laughs> same layout and it kind of works. See, I felt like I'm going to do it this week and then I did not, which is fine. And then this week was completely empty because I had a lot of stress at uni. I thought I'm going to be able to fit social media in it in my week and then I could not, so it's empty. And then this was last week, which was a lot better when it comes to social media for me and I had a little bit more time uh, to work on it. So I created this spread. This is this week, which is not decorated yet, and I started out with sticky notes. This is always how I do my Instagram posts. I just take a bunch of pictures, all of my spreads, and then I write them on sticky notes, and then I plan them out and move them so that it's not always the same planner, like three days in a row, but different ones. Um, so that's why <laughs> it's full of sticky notes, and I'm going to write these posts into the boxes. And I, I have been trying to keep up with the to-do list and the habit tracker. So that's that. This is how I'm using this. I actually wanted to use the notes. There are a lot of notes pages in the back, as you can see. Um, I wanted to use this, as you can see, on the sticky notes for like yearly trackers, uh, for social media and for my shop and for like monthly goals and for like dailies. I... As I mentioned, January was very busy for me, so I did not come around doing this yet. But um, after February, university is going to become a lot more chill, so I am going to have more time for stuff like this. And then I'm sure that I'm going to need some notes pages. Actually, I have been writing down like notes on like scraps of paper instead of in here because I really wanted to set this up and it's not set up yet and so I don't write in it. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a use for these pages once I decide that I'm gonna start using them. So last two. I know it's a long video because I have a lot of planners. Um, I have my inserts that you can buy as a printable in my Etsy shop that I have been using last year as well. Um, it's um, this one. And I really wanted to use this the same way that I used it last year, which is just a quick to-do list in the morning um, to write down, like, like it's kind of like a brain dump of to-dos that I have in my head without very, being very specific or very detailed or very, or putting stuff into its right place like directly i can just put down everything and anything and 
I have enough planners for that, I feel like. So I have not been using this insert, but what I repurposed it for is writing down a small wins um, list. Uh, in the middle of January, I was in a very not great mental state, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I was very overwhelmed. Um, I think I was in a freeze state, if you know that, in a freeze uh, nervous system state. So I had a lot to do, um, but I had like no mental capacity to do anything. And one thing that I figured um, would help is to do like small things and be like very happy and proud about it. <laughs> So I needed a place to write down some small things so that at the end of the day, I feel like I did a lot, even though I did not do like big things. So like getting out of bed is a small win because there were days where I did not want to do that. <laughs> so if I did that, that was a win. Um, like tidying up my desk, um, brushing my teeth, stuff like that. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you really need to like push yourself to do stuff and that's a win so i wrote it down and now every time i feel overwhelmed and i feel like i am not doing anything and the day is over i sit down and write down all the little things that i did all the little things that nobody knows about that were hard for me where i had to like be a little bit disciplined or i had to like get over myself and and do it and I don't want to really go like into very like deep detail about it <laughs> because you're probably not interested but it's very hard for me to celebrate my accomplishments and I always feel like I'm not doing enough and what I'm trying to learn is that I need to be my like biggest cheerleader and I need to feel proud of myself for small things as well uh, because otherwise, like nobody's gonna nobody's gonna come and say, "Well done, you you got out of bed," because nobody knows how hard it is. I am the only person that knows how hard things are. Sometimes, sometimes even the smallest things are very hard for me. And then instead of feeling bad about it that I can't even do the small things, <laughs> because I know how hard it is for me, I am trying to be that person person for myself that says I see how much you're struggling and I see how hard it is for you and I see that you still manage to do all of these things so you're doing great <laughs> and sometimes I just need that little boost so I don't need another to-do list with another endless list of things that I could be doing that are very overwhelming and I can't even fit into my life uh, realistically because I'm not a robot I'm a human so I am not using this for another to-do list that I another thing that I need to check off. I use this in like the opposite way, writing down stuff that I did <laughs> that is that just just small things, even the small things count. And then I look at this list and feel like I mean I did a lot of things. <laughs> I did was it was a great day. Maybe today I did not have the mental capacity to write my thesis. But that's fine. That would be a big, that would be a big win. Sometimes days are made up of small wins and no big wins, which is which is fine. So that's what I'm doing with this. And I don't need it every day. When I need it, I pull it out and I write in it. If I don't need it, I don't write in it. It's just easy as that. Not making it even more stressful. Last thing, I have this little pocket bullet journal for fun. I don't need to write in it. I write in it when I want to. I just wanna like play with the size. I have set it up um, in December and I have written it in it a little bit, but as I mentioned, this is just for fun. So I wrote down some things about the freeze response in middle of January when I was feeling bad. And I still wanna fill this out because I feel like this is uh, like a, a valuable page even though i feel like i am now out of my fridge response thank god 
but I'm gonna be back soon enough, <laughs> I'm sure, <laughs> because um, my life is very overwhelming. So I'm gonna write down the ways to cope. I don't need to write this down yesterday or tomorrow, it doesn't matter. It's empty now, I'm gonna fill it up when I have the time and I want to. And then I'm just gonna fill out the pages when I want to and just decorate and play around with it and sometimes do some little journaling and to-do pages. Sometimes do a little bit of like a collection type situation or notes. And yeah, it's not a lot in here, but I don't care. I don't need to fill this up in a month or in a year or in three years or 10 years. I'm gonna fill it up when I fill it up. <laughs> so that's it. That's all of the planners, guys. I mean, I know I said that I'm gonna use one planner this year and I don't know how we got <laughs> to this point again, or how I got to this point again, but here we are. And I just feel like, I feel like I can like still keep up with this lineup. Um, this is like very easy to fill out the five year journal, just five minutes a day. I like to do it in the evening. These I use how I need and when I need. This I kind of almost use more like a before the week plan and then after the week, like looking back at the week kind of thing. So sometimes I don't fill it out during, during the week, but then I fill it out at the end of the week to see like a bigger picture for the week. This I use every day, either for like a daily or like for my weekly. This I use when I feel like I need it and I have the time for it. And I use this when I feel like I need a small wins list. And this I just use for fun. <laughs> when I feel like I want a journal, I'm just play it on like in a bullet journal kind of situation. Like instead of a planner, then I'm putting out this one. So it's still working, I think. The only thing I feel like is maybe not the best are these two um i think i got this this one is the compact i got the compact b6 specifically because i knew that i'm not gonna put any dailies in here because i'm gonna put it in here now i kind of feel like if i have gotten the normal b6 sterling ink common planner i could have just like not buy this and just put everything in here which would have been the same setup that I used last year with my uni planner. Uh, but I really wanted to try this layout with the monthly, weekly, and then pages, and then weekly, and then pages, and then weekly, and then pages, and then monthly, like at some point. Um, and I felt like this could be interesting and a new kind of situation. Um, I just, I, I don't know what to do with this spread, but maybe it just needs a little bit more experimentation i when i'm very busy with my uni stuff i really don't have the time to experiment with this layout and i have been very busy so maybe it's just being very busy but once march rolls around and my exams are over and i'm only writing my thesis maybe then i can play around with it a little bit more but maybe i'm just gonna ditch this one and use this one or maybe i ditch this one and use this one who knows? But these two were from the beginning kind of like maybe I'm just gonna use one. So that was a long video and my throat is hurting from talking so I'm gonna stop. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed and if you have any questions let me know in the comments and if you did leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it what I mean by if you did. If you enjoyed this video, <laughs> please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I also have an Instagram, obviously, where you can follow me. It's in the description box. And I also have discount codes. I always forget to say that, but I have a lot of discount codes in the description as well, <laughs> if you want to buy stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it. Um, I hope we see each other soon. And until then, bye!